Hey guys, Mater here. All right, well, it's Sunday. Uh, hopefully everybody well, did enjoy losing that extra hour of sleep. Um, but anyways, Crystal and I went up going to Harbor Freight. And just want to show you some of the deals we picked up today since they're running that special. Um, with the coupons and everything, yeah, some of these are something I've been wanting to get for a while. And one is it's Pittsburgh four-piece pry bar set. Um, I think these were for $9.99. Let me, I know I've got the receipt in one of these other bags. I don't remember exactly which one. No, not that one. Yeah, not that one. Anyways, yeah, um... Like I said, if I'm not mistaken, I think these were $9.99. It's a four-piece set. Uh, like I said, today's your last time to go get them. Um, I like the way they feel. Um, been needing a set. Second thing is, uh, been needing a good set of hammers. And it was like, okay, I wasn't going to pass them up. I don't remember the price. But for, I mean, they, they weren't much, Okay. I will put like this. Everything I got, total with coupon and everything, I spent less than two hundred dollars. Okay, so I got four. This, um, excuse me, five piece hammer set, and that's the um, the eight, twelve. It says eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty four, and thirty two ounce uh, ball peen hammers, and the fiber. They are fiberglass, so. Hey, lifetime warranty, I'm not going to complain. I mean, I could complain, but as usual, what's it going to do? You know, what good is that going to do? Um, if I can get these out, I want up getting four of the magnetic. Yeah. Yeah. These are the four, four of the six inch magnetic parts holders. I've got one. I like it. It's like, uh, I think they were like $1.99 or something like that. So, hey, I'm not going to pass up another chance. They had four. Sure. Why not? Um, something else that they uh been running with the coupon is the, um, oh, got it up. Down. That's why I got it right side up. Anyways, it's the nitrile uh, gloves. Um, Crystal likes using these for doing stuff around, you know, clean up around the house. So, got a couple of boxes of those. Um, I think these were eight ninety nine. dollars 99 Um, that's all in that one bag. Um, I know, I know they're cheap, but the Harbor Freight, uh, four-piece funnel set, um, 99 cents. I mean, for 99 cents, what else are you going to, you're really going to complain about spending 99 cents for four little funnels? Uh, excuse me, I got two sets. So, I'm not going to complain. I mean, for the price, yeah. I mean, like I said, I can complain all I want. I don't think it's going to do a bit of good. So, why complain at all? Uh, so I got that, um, cobalt grinder, the battery operated 24 volt, needs some more cutoff wheels. Warrior had uh, their coupon for a uh, 10 pack store was out of them up front had the Bauer and these are the four and a half inch by one sixteenth by seven eighths armor. Um, I'm hoping it'll work. If not, hey, I'll take them back, exchange them for the correct arbor size. But I think these were $7.99 for a 10-pack. Okay, fine. That's that's no big deal. And I'll play this. Harbor Freight, haven't had any problems taking anything back. Um, was kind of surprised when I saw this. This is the Pittsburgh, um, it says Universal overhead valve compressor well 
So if I'm working on a Predator 212 and I'm putting different valves and everything in it with keepers, hey, I'm going to need some way of compressing the spring so I can put the keepers and everything in. They got them on clearance for $6.99, okay? To me, that's not a bad price. It's like, I'm not passing that up. Um, now, I got the Warrior... This is a Warrior three-piece multi-tool. Um, it says flexible scraper, rigid scraper, and then uh, for wood. Um, I mean, it's all three-piece. I've got that cobalt multi-tool. Yeah, I know it. It's already got uh, blades and everything. Six ninety-nine, something like that. I'm not going to pass up. Getting a few more. Why not? Try them out. If I don't like them. No big deal. Um, Crystal found something that she's been wanting. She likes them. And that's these little uh, carabiner that Harbor Freight's got. Um, I don't know how much they were. She's the one that grabbed them. Anyway, she got a couple of red and one that's all silver. So, she likes them. Okay, fine. I wound up getting them for her. I'm not going to complain. I mean, yeah, why not? Um, that's it on that bag. That's the last bag. Now, something else that Harbor Freight had was their uh, Pittsburgh 12 volt air compressor. The one you keep in your vehicle and everything. I think they had one that was for normally, say, 40. They had it down to 30. I looked at it. Yeah, it's a 12 volt, but it's a 100 PSI. That one's good. But the bigger one that they've got is a 12 volt, 150 PSI. Yeah, it's more money. I've got one, and I'll play this. I would say, get it. Oh, good. No, didn't have a flame out. But anyways... This is it, okay? That eh, gotta get in the camera correctly. But yeah, this is the Pittsburgh 12 volt, 150 psi uh, air compressor, and this one here. I'm gonna take this out of the, the box that way you can take a look at it, okay? One thing, know to come in the box. It comes in its own bag with a nice little carrying handle. It's got, you know, it's a Pretty nice little nylon style bag. I'm not going to complain because this is very nice, okay? The main reason why I wound up getting another one of these is carrying it in my truck, okay? Now I got a flame well. Hang on. Um, but a while back when I was doing a live stream, one of the guys... Uh, his wife called up saying, hey, he had a, a blowout. So, uh, Cajun was in here. He took over. I think about, I was going about 45 minutes or so. And that's when I used that, um, the cobalt. Let me grab it. Uh, I want to, and I just got through mine, this cobalt, small, this is a small half-inch impact, Okay. I grabbed this, brand new, never used it. He's got, I think, a 97 or 98 three-quarter ton Dodge. This little sucker here had no problem getting the lug nuts off. None whatsoever. And I even used, now I didn't have, didn't take the impact sockets. I wish I had done that, but I didn't. I just took some, some of my Pittsburgh Chrome half-inch sockets. Not a problem, but his spare tire was flat, and I had not, hey, I just gone and bought one, okay, this is my second one, I'm not going to buy a second one if I don't like it, okay, I don't remember how much it was, I know it was not the cheapest one, but I tell you, this one here, I really, really do like, Mainly because, yeah, it is 12 volt, okay, 
and I'm I'm taking it out of the, the bag right now that way y'all can see it yeah but here it is this is brand new like I said I have, I'm just now getting it out of the box um, this thing here had no problem whatsoever of airing up his spare tire spare tire was a little bit on the low side not one problem okay and the main reason why I say I wanted to get another one, if you need one for your vehicle, the cord on this thing, 12 foot in length, and it's got alligator clips. It hooks up to your battery by these alligator clips. Okay, so you've got a 12 foot long cord. Now I'll play like this. I have gone over. I've actually got one I got from... Uh, Wally World. I can air up on my caliber. I can get the right front, left front, left rear. I cannot get to the right rear on that because how short the cord and everything is for it. But with this being 12 foot long cord, okay, you just bringing me out something I didn't. I forgot all about. D-rings. No. No, I'm asking I, for those. Oh, she wants her D-rings. I've already showed them those. That's fine. Just make sure I'm bringing my gloves in. Now, if, I have, if you don't bring them inside, I'm going to have to use them on you. Ooh. No, you won't like it. I might. You've had a proctologist exam before. Not. No, I haven't. Anyways, guys, like I said, that one I got from Wally World, it would not, it wouldn't be able to reach around to the right rear. But, like I said, with this, like I said, it does have a 12 foot, got 12 foot cord, but the air hose will stretch out, out to, I believe they said 25 feet. So, yeah, you've got a long, Trying to get it out. Let's get this all out. But yeah, you've got the hose, and it's even got the gauge on it. Oop. It does have an air gauge on it. Um, the only drawback to it is, yeah, you have to hold this on, okay? That's about the only thing I really don't like, if, unless there was a, um, actually there is, they, it does screw on, okay, um, I was wrong about that, I didn't realize it, of course it was late, I was trying to be in a hurry, but anyways, um, I think these run about 60 bucks, 60, 70 dollars, um, yeah, I think the air compressor, yeah, it's like 70 bucks, but, hey, it's worth it. Trust me. Um, I'm going to be keeping this in the truck and everything. Um, but like I said, to me, if I don't like something from somewhere, I'm not going to go back and get a second one. I mean, as you can tell, I bought how many of these brawn lights from Harbor Freight? I mean, I bought several different things from them. Um, constantly buying stuff from them. Um, get that put in that. But the yeah, I did forget about one other item, and this. I think this was about six or seven dollars, something like that. I know I'm holding it wrong. There it is. But this is the the twelve drawer organizer. Okay. Um. It does mount on a wall. It says it comes with, contains eight small and four large compartments. Um, it says mount to a wall or stands on a bench. And I got this because you now I wound up getting that rib nut inserter, that Doyle, which got put up. Don't remember where I've lost it at. It's here somewhere. But, um,. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this 
for organizing all the room notes. I'll get them labeled and everything. That way I know, okay, say I need such touch. Okay, fine. I've got, I go through, look at it. Okay, there's the size I need. Pull out, boom. And I'm going to be, I can order more, which I already did. Ordered 100 of the 10 by 24s. Okay, fine. That's probably going to be my most common. So, yeah, that's probably what I'll use, but I'll have all the other sizes also. Um, so, like I said, all in all, uh, with the coupons, the savings, everything, uh, I don't know if any of it was Inside Track Club member or not. I'd have to try and find the receipt, which... Oh, speaking of... Got the receipt. Let's see. Uh, okay. The storage unit, storage drawer, that was $9.99. My mistake on that. Uh, the spring links. So, those D-rings are like $1.50. Cut-off wheel, yep, $7.99. The blade set, multi-tool, $6.99. The valve spring compressor, $6.97. Um, right, the funnel set was, uh... They're $1.98. That's for two of them. Um, uh, and for the parts holders, I paid $7.96 for those. The gloves, they were... Trying to figure, I know it's on here. Um... Anyway, that, those were seventeen ninety eight. Pry bar set, yeah, it's nine ninety nine. Okay, air compressor, sixty nine ninety nine. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, seventy bucks. Uh, I did get the uh, uh, extended warranty or replacement plan for two years. That was sixteen. Uh, ball peen hammer set was twenty two ninety nine. Say twenty three. Um, but it says additional savings twenty five eighty. So. Yeah, I mean, I saved quite a bit. Like I said, it was $195 for everything I wound up getting. And the most expensive thing was the air compressor. You know, this little 12-volt air compressor. That was, say, 70 bucks. So I spent, hundred, say, $120, $125 on everything else. Uh, okay, we'll take off the $16 for the warranty. So you're still looking... So about 110 bucks for everything. I'm going, that's still not bad. And I did go to a different store. wanted to see what they had and everything. Um, but yeah, I mean, I know today's the last day for it. I mean, you probably got about half an hour if you haven't gotten over there. Hopefully you've got, you know, everybody has gotten over there to Harbor Freight today for the spring sale um, and bought something. I know the store we went to, they were busy. Um, I mean, three registers open, three registers open at Harbor Freight. Can you believe it? Usually one or two. But they had all three. They had three. I'm going. That was yeah. I've not seen that in a while. But anyways, I know that about half an hour got Polar Bear Ed going to be going live. Um, if you haven't hit the like button, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Hey, I try to read every single comment you guys put out there. Try to respond back. Hey, positive, negative, hey, I don't care. I mean, it hurts me a little if it's negative, but hey, I don't care. I mean, it's still a comment. You know, give me an input. Tell me tell me your thoughts on this stuff, okay? I'm trying to put this together that way. It's something for y'all to have information on. Uh, give you some input on it. Um, trying to think what else. Don't forget, to, uh, like, like they say, subscribe. Hit that bell, that way you know whenever I've got another video it's uh, getting uploaded or if I'm going live, which is Monday and Wednesdays at 7 o'clock, I'm trying to go. Uh, quick update, Chris and I did go to Best Buy yesterday, got my computer coming in. It's not the same one. Come to find out, the one that I got back in August, they've discontinued that one. Because a newer one is out. But store had one. But I'm not getting what the store had. I'm actually getting some upgrades 
to that, which I spent another 200, about 230, 240 bucks to get a little bit better computer system. When that comes in, I'll be showing you. So, like I said, just stay tuned. Until then, I'll be using my laptop um, for my live streams. But, um, yeah, as soon as that computer comes in, I'll be definitely letting y'all know about it. Um, that's it. Hit the like, leave me a comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Um, till then, y'all have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Stay safe, and God bless.